What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is episode number three of the Spoon Wide Body Install and we are getting right to work. Last episode you guys saw us fit up the front and the rear bumper and we didn't quite finish the rear bumper and that is what we're going to be doing today. We can't do too much more until we actually get the rear over fenders on which is going to be another piece that we're doing today. I went ahead and before we got those on uh, clearanced the rear bumper back here because in order to fit the wider tires and wheels in the rear this is going to have to be cut off and we might even have to cut a little bit more off but just based off of uh, what we did whenever we actually rolled the fenders we went ahead and matched that to the spoon bumper so this is done and now Tim we got the over fenders baby the over fenders are actually super sick as well because it pretty much covers up this entire rear quarter panel yeah, it's gonna be really nice I can't wait to open the box let's do that now okay <laughs> Dude, look how fat this is. So it does go down. Yeah, I told you. Wait, this goes over the bumper? Yeah. Oh my god. So we are gonna have to cut it. Oh god. So uh previously I actually thought the rear over fenders were just the actual fender piece, but nope. So these actually go over the entire quarter panel and the front bumper or the rear bumper too. So holy crap, dude. That's gonna be freaking sick. So these also add 20 mil, I think. These actually might be a little bit more wide in the rear than the fronts. I don't know, it looks about the same. Looks about the same? It's just the, it, it cuts in so you yeah. can really tell. Sick, so we're gonna go ahead and unpackage all of this and start figuring out how the hell we're gonna actually mount this thing. Yeah. Look how good this rear fender looks. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's just everything flows so well with this kit I mean just look how the rear bumper fits into the rear fenders right here, dude It's just like oh like how is this real life? How is this even a real thing right now? Okay, so Tim, what do you think the plan is here plan uh, of attack plan is We're probably gonna need to cut the stock body because, oh, of course, you know, you're going 20 mil wider So we're probably gonna actually gonna have to cut the spoon rear. Yes, bumper. So I think what we're gonna have to do is literally follow this line that we took to cut well, the uh, You got this one here. You yeah. gotta cut this. You're gonna have to cut into the stock, the bumper you just put on. Or you're gonna bottom out pretty much the whole time. Oh God. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and make our cutting lines and once we have everything lined out, go ahead and get started with it all. And I will show you guys before we cut to show you exactly what portions of the bumper and the fender and stuff that we're cutting. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm not. You're not nervous? I'm no, gonna send it's it. not my car. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Thanks. We're officially cutting into the body of the S2K and the spoon rear bumper. So, uh, wish me luck. Here we go. How do you feel? I gotta go a little bit deeper, yeah. but uh, it's a good starting line. Look at that, that's not too bad. Not the prettiest, not the prettiest cut, but fender number one is done. Go ahead and clean this up with the grinder wheel, make it look a little bit better than it does already. And we got one side down. I think we can start mounting up the spoon over fender once this is all cleaned up. Alright guys, 
Both side fenders are cut. You can see so much more clearance on both sides. Here's Tim's cut over here. Of course, just, Tim just wrecks me on the quality of cut here. But now what I'm gonna work on is actually cutting the inside of the fender of the new spoon over fender right here so that we have tons of tire and wheel clearance uh, whenever we actually mount these on. Tim ran to the hardware store. He's grabbing some well nuts so that we can go ahead and knock this out. We are on a very, very big time crunch. So hopefully we can get all of this done today in preparation for a track day. And it'll be the first track day with a full spoon S2000. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. done on the inside so we have lots of clearance for the wheels and tires now Tim just got back with our hardware nice so we got some of those and now we are actually gonna go ahead and drill out all of the holes that are on the fenders so that we can easily slide in and out the bolts and then we're gonna start drilling into the car so go ahead and do this real fast and we'll move on to the car My God, I am beyond hyper, dude. How good do these rear fenders look? They look amazing. How amazing. is this even real life right now? These look amazing. One of the reasons I am so stoked is look at the fitment on this, dude. It's literally around the gas cap, absolutely perfect everywhere. Just take a look at this, dude. Yeah, even along the rear bumper. There's hardly a, a gap there at all. Oh my gosh, dude. So one side down, one more to go. ending was a little bit weird there. If you guys didn't see the last video or any of my social medias, my computer crashed while I was uploading a lot of the footage that was on my SD card and actually corrupted a bunch of the files and I lost a ton of footage, which, which really sucks, especially for the video where we picked up the new car because our entire road trip was on that and I lost pretty much everything of the second day. So it's a huge bummer. I'm trying to work out a few different softwares to see if I can recover any of it, but no luck so far. Uh, before we end this video, actually I wanted to give you guys a little update here. We do have a brand new Legends drop coming out next Friday. It's the Legends Circuit Team drop. I'm actually wearing this shirt right now. This drop is completely designed from everything that I saw from the track cars in Japan and kind of in my style that I love. We mashed everything together and turned that into Legend Circuit Team. This is one of my favorite drops that we've ever, ever done, especially because I've gotten so into tracking my S2000 that, that this is something that I'm very, very passionate about, something that I want to make real. So we went ahead and did a full line of Legend Circuit Team. This is the t-shirt. We actually even have the sponsors for all of the builds down the side of the shirt. And we also have a hoodie. Let me show you guys the hoodie real fast, one of my favorite things. And also the shirt and the hoodie both have different colors. If you guys can see the shirt here, this is red and blue. And then we throw the hoodie on. The hoodie is so dope, check this out. So, and then the hoodie is actually red and gray. Super, super awesome. I'll show you guys the small text down there. Uh, all of our sponsors are on the sleeve of the hoodie. Just a super, super rad design, so check this out. So this is gonna be the hoodie, and all of this drops August 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. 
Um, so I'm just extremely excited. Oh, and the hat, check out this. We've never done this on a hat before, but we actually did like a rubber patch. Let me see if I can focus this. We actually did like a rubber patch on the hat and it came out super, super gnarly. I am stoked on this. We've never actually done this on a hat before. So we're just stepping our game up every single drop that we have. And of course, we have a ton of accessories for the Legend Circuit Team drop as well. We have a brand new garage banner. You guys have previously seen the shop towels that we've done. The shop towels are so, so cool. But here's the brand new garage banner. We haven't done one in a while, so I figured this would be the perfect time. I'm gonna hang this actually in my office too. We just haven't hung anything, so we're gonna paint it pretty soon, but check this out. Oh, this thing is so rad. So yes, this will also be available on Friday, next Friday actually. But yeah, this thing came out so, so nice. The garage banner flag, or in your room, whatever you're feeling. This is super rad. And jet tag stickers. Here are a couple of stickers that we have. Boom, brand new Legend Circuit Team stickers. And last but not least here, another brand new item that we've never done. These are actually iron on patches that you guys can get. T-shirts, jackets, sweaters, hats, anything. These are super easy to use. Very high quality iron on patches. I'll actually be putting this on my race suit or when I go track the car and stuff. So everything, everything on this drop is very, very track oriented. And like I said, I have all the sponsors from all of the companies that support our builds and support this channel, which I think is very, very important to help support the companies that support you, you know? So a lot of these companies are the same companies that you guys use as well. So I just thought it meshed together really well, especially with the whole track team that we have going. So be sure to stay tuned to my Instagram as well as the Legends Instagram for all of the updates on uh, when and everything that's dropping for the circuit team drop. You guys are not going to want to miss it. I am so, so stoked. So with all of that being said, I know it's a ton of information. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see all of you at episode number four of the Spoon Build series. Peace out.